welcome back to my another video here we are going to discuss a very fresh topic that is evolution of man so do you wonder what is evolution so let's begin so evolution means in simple words we can say that it is change or variation and it which took place million of years ago so basically so evolution is a change which took place from one generation to another ger generation and it is a very slow process it is not like that it will take within certain days or certain months or certain years it will take millions and millions of years in this part of the video we are going to discuss how the evolution of man took place and how the ancestral form of the man looked like and how the modern age looked like in this part of this photo you can see clearly that how the evolution have took place so now we are going to discuss actually what happened let's begin we all know that man is a supreme animal so it has why it is called a supreme animal because it is the only animal social animal which have the capacity to learn and it has large brain it can use its intelligence it has a perfect posture it can now we have seen that how the science and technology have developed it is all because of man so in the ancestral form of the man you will be astonished to know that the ancestral form of the man used to live on the trees can you imagine that yes it is so ancestral form of the man used to live on the trees and they finally left due to course of evolution they finally left and start living on the ground and thus how the modern man evolved and you must be wondering why does why did the ancestral form why the evolution basically take place there are many reason behind it that is due to natural selection we will be going discussing in the later videos in this video we are mainly going to focus about the evolution of man and how do how come we came to know that were certain ancestors that were present in the man because there were certain fossil what do you mean by fossil that is remnants of plants and animal is known as fossil so certain fossils were collected in the in the africa asia and europe where we came to know that the ancestral form of the man looked like this and what time of period did they origin that is during the miocene and the pliocene period you must be wondering what is miocene and pliocene period basically they are the geological time scale and here i have described it but regarding particularly regarding this geological time scale i am going to make a detailed video in this you have only understand that during the cenozoic era is divided into two period that is tertiary and quaternary period and during the tertiary period it have miocene and pliocene period that the man evolution took place so for this video you concentrate upon this and in the next video i am going to come up the detail what is eon what is era what is period what is epoch and so on moving to the main part that is prior to the ape man so before the ape man that is two forms of ancestral form of man was seen that is dryopithecus and ramapithecus in dryopithecus they were mainly originated during the middle miocene and early pliocene you can see here how they look like mainly due 20 to 25 million years ago they were evolved in africa and europe region you can see here they have the broad jaws and they have eyebrows were not present without any eyebrow and they used to live on the arboreal in nature that is they used to live on the trees and they have semi erect posture and large canines the canine teeth that is responsible for tearing and we have discussed in the digestive system also that is mainly they were carnivorous so they have large canines and they have leg size were usually small in ramapithecus that is in the next form we can see here in this picture that is they evolved during the pliocene period and in the shivalik hills of india we found their fossils and they were mainly present during 14 million years ago and no more they are found and they mainly they also lived on the trees and the jaws and the teeth were resembling to that of the 
modern man. Moving to the next part is the ape man. The ape man is categorized into three parts that is South African ape man, Java ape man and Pekik man. First part is the South African ape man which is again of three types that is Australopithecus africans, Homo habilis and Homo hedelbergenis. So you can see here in this photo that is Australopithecus africans, their posture was erect, jaws and teeth large and they evolved during the Pliocene period and they were having the grasping hand that is to hold something. Their hands and legs were usually long. In Homo habilis, in this photo you can see this is the Homo habilis, they use bipedal locomotion. Before that they were using all the that is both the uh, arms and the legs they were using for the locomotion. But gradually during evolution by the, ten, by the time they started using the bipedal locomotion that is legs and their postures were erect, they were omnivorous and the dentation you can see the teeth were resembling to that of the modern man. And, and one more thing you must be noted, note that by the evolution the cranial capacity of the man gradually increased. So, in the Australopithecus africans, the cap cranial capacity that is the brain capacity was less and gradually during the Homo habilis, the brain capacity or the cranial capacity slightly started increasing. Next coming to the Homo halibur, here they were also that is the same category that is they were also living on the trees only and they were having not, not much difference. but they were having massive jaw and they were also don't having the chin region. Not much difference between this Homo habilis and the Homo hedlibers. Moving to the next part that is the Java ape man. You can see here. Here the major changes in the man took place. That is they show bipedal locomotion. Before also they showed bipedal locomotion. They now started using tools for their survival. Okay. They started using tools for the survival, for the defense purpose, for different method they started using tools. And you can see here if you see their structure, they were having the slanting forehead and the eyebrow ridge where the eyebrows were present, they were thick region, the heavy eyebrows were present. Okay. So gradually you can see how the man started using the tools by the Java ape man. Then comes the Peking ape man, there is no much difference, slight difference between Java, Java ape man and the Peking man. But one more thing to be noted is that their cranial capacity increased in the Peking man and they developed the control of speech. This is a very important point to be noted. Before there was no topic related to speech, that is they did not know how to communicate Gradually due to evolution, they started controlling their speech. They, that means they started communicating among their members, among their group members. And they started using the tools as well as fire. They know, knew how to use the fire and their forehead was low. You can see the forehead that is low in nature. So you can see here how the gradually, slightly and slowly the evolution is taking place next come to the true man. Now here you will see certain characteristics which will be resembling to that of the modern man. True man, why it is called true man? Because they were the true ancestors of the man. In the true man first is they were categorized into three, cat three parts that is Neanderthal man, Cro-Magnon man and modern man which we now see. In the Neanderthal man, you can see here their body was well built, they were walking erect like that of the human, like the modern man and they were strong and the forehead, you can see here their forehead was flat and broad and also the forehead is usually small and you can see that their nose were flat and they communicate in sort of, sort of certain language. Before that I have told you that there was no language were present, they started controlling their speech but when they came but gradually they started communicating in cert, certain sort of language which is not known what sort of language, maybe some tribal language they started 
communicating in certain form of language and they were the first primitive type of social life. They started living the stoated, they started their social life. They started living in small family groups and certain cultures were also started. Next coming to the Cro-Magnon man, you can see here the Cro-Magnon man, they were broad face, their face were usually broad and their intelligence increased gradually that is can be uh, come similar to that of the modern man. They walk faster, they run faster, they can do many things that is started living in cave, they know how to protect themselves so they started looking for shelter, they started li living in caves, they started living what is new what their family is, so started living with the family and they used colors and started painting, so basically the culture was started during the Cro-Magnon time. Then come the modern man, you can so see the modern man, we are the great example of it. So the modern man there was erect posture, you can see the posture was correct with balancing head and neck and straight forearms and limbs and the wear started wearing clothes for their protection and customs and religion started. So we can see here how from the man, from the ancestors which were living on the tree and gradually by the time of evolution they started living on the ground and now we know, call them as modern man. Some important points during the Cro-Magnon period there was five ages were seen that is Paleothoic, Paleolithic age that is known as the stone age that they used massively used stone as a tool. Next comes the Mesolithic age that is the age of language, reading and writing. They started learning certain type of language, they started reading, they started doing sculptures, they started writing in their form. Okay. Then in the Neolithic age they started agriculture for their livelihood they started growing their certain types of crops. So agriculture was started during the Neolithic and bronze age that is they started using bronze and during iron that is the modern age use of iron was started. You can see here by the rich, by the rich the modern man they have already overcome all this ages okay they have they have seen all these ages that is stone age then age of language age of agriculture use of bronze and modern age and you can see how that evolution took place first i have told you dryopithecus they look like this then finally they were their posture was not correct you can see here you can see here their posture was not correct that is they usually tilt and their posture was erect semi erect then gradually their posture changed that is ramathicus the, the posture changed in australopithecus there they were mo having the grasping hand you can see here they were ha grasping hand homo labis they look like this and they started using tools homo erectus their posture became more perfect neanderthal man cro magnon man that is started using culture and now the modern man Okay, you can see how that evolution took place during the time period. So this is all about this topic, hope you find it interesting and do like and subscribe to my channel and if you have not watched the previous video, do watch it. Thank you.